These are the types of products that we're talking about. These touchscreen displays. Everybody's got them. This is what we've made. We've made touchscreen displays. These are conductive, transparent displays. But now what we've done is we've made them so that you could drop this phone and it won't break. You could roll up this phone and you wouldn't break the display. Uh, this is actually a very practical technique. There's a large demand for transparent conductors, things that look like glass but can conduct electricity. And this is needed for touchscreen displays, which are throughout smartphones, iPads, uh, and also photovoltaics, which are, which are solar panels. What we found now is that we can just use a grid of wires, and this was found by a postdoc in my group, Dr. Yu Zhu, found that if you put just a grid of wires, and you make very thin wires so that you can't even see them, and then you put the graphene on top of that, then you have a transparent display that has very good conductivity. And the, the product that we're up against is a product called indium tin oxide, or abbreviated ITO. Indium is a naturally occurring element, as is tin, and these can be made into transparent conductive electrodes and put on glass. One of the problems is that the price of indium tin oxide, or ITO, has gone up five to eight times in the past five years. And that's because of the large demand primarily for solar panels. Uh, and because of that, they're trying to look for replacements. The other problem with indium tin oxide is it only works well on glass. So if you drop your smartphone, there's always this danger that the display is going to break. And that's a very sad day when that happens. So these you could put on plexiglass, or as Dr. Zhu has done, He's put it on plastic. In this way, you can make this touch screen flexible, and you don't need glass for the touch screen. And uh, when your touch screen device falls to the ground, you won't worry about the breaking. So this is an exciting advance. It's an advance that's uh, very close to the end use. So in other words, many of the things that we've come up in the, with in the past, it would be a longer term to market. This could be much closer and there's a high demand for touchscreen displays for transparent conductors.